going to make some deviled eggs today for the 4th of July weekend. So I'm going to cook up. These are some farm fresh brown eggs. As you can see, they're different colors and different shapes and they'll all taste good. So what we'll do is we're going to hard boil the eggs and we'll go from there. Got some small, some medium, some extra larges. It's all good. Getting good. Yep. A little bit of everything. Okay, we've got them up to a boil. We're going to cover them, put the lid on, turn them off, let them sit for 20 minutes. So we're also going to make some macaroni salad. And I cooked up about a pound of macaroni. I just drained that well. And I just added a little mayonnaise to moisten it up, keep it from drying out, and keep it from sticking together. Uh, when we made the hard-boiled eggs for, to do the deviled eggs, well, we threw in some extra ones to put in the macaroni salad as well. So going to add some chopped celery and some chopped onion and we like to add a little diced shrimp and some salmon to our macaroni salad as well and we'll throw in some garlic and a little dill and a little bit of mustard and we'll go from there. Salmon juice. Sherry. I'm also going to make a little vanilla ice cream. Just some sugar and eggs and vanilla and a little heavy cream and a little bit of milk. We're going to put some vanilla bean seeds in there and freeze it up. Good stuff. Well, we're working on the macaroni salad still. We've got some diced celery, some diced onion, well, a diced shallot to be exact, some celery. Got a little mustard in there, a little gray poupon, and some dill, dill weed, and a little garlic powder. Uh, I don't very rarely use salt, but I did put a little bit, sprinkle of celery salt in there, and of course some pepper. And we're just going to crumble in some salmon, and as soon as the shrimp are thawed out, we're going to dice up some shrimp and put that in there. And then it'll be ready to chin here. And you very carefully take the knife and cut down the middle, and then you kind of scrape the seeds out here. There's a million and one tiny little seeds there that we're going to put into the ice cream. All them out that you can get. Okay, what I've done is I've thrown all the egg yolks into a Ziploc bag and thrown a little bit of mustard in there, some garlic powder, and some mayonnaise. And this is the easiest way to do this, is to just knead it all up and mix it in. We'll see if it needs any more mayonnaise in a minute. Um, and then you snip a hole in the corner and you squirt them into the egg halves and it makes it much easier. Okay, we've got it all mixed up. I just cut a little corner off. We'll see how well they squirt in here. Nothing fancy. They aren't going to last that long. I'd say it's usually this makes it a little less messy doing it this way, but I've been having a hard time keeping my bag zipped today, so <laughs> it's not cooperating. Finished product. It ain't pretty. Damn, is it good. One tell boy. He loves it when we're home, but we wear him out. <laughs> okay, and so we've added the shrimp. Just mixing that in. It's all done. It just needs to go into the bowl and finish chilling. So there it is. Ready to go in the fridge.